Today is the 80th anniversary of D-Day, a turning point in World War II when thousands of Allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy to help liberate France from Nazi occupation. President Biden joined world leaders in Normandy to honor those who died and who survived. There are only a few hundred veterans still alive to tell their incredible stories. One of the survivors who attended the ceremonies at Normandy is a Martinez man who had an insider's view of the operation and has become an Internet star because of it. John Ramis has his story. Along with the stars and stripes, the tricolor flag of France flies over the Martinez home of Jake Larson. He helped liberate the country, and if you've never heard of him, there's a good chance your kids have. Step into the Martinez home of Jake Larson, and it's clear that even he is amazed by his own good fortune. I'm 101, going on 102. Hell, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I don't have an ache or a pain in my body. His unlikely story began in 1938 when he lied his way into the Minnesota National Guard at the age of 15. By the time Pearl Harbor happened, Jake had already been in the infantry for more than three years. But that typing class he took in high school changed everything. They transferred me into Fifth Corps. I didn't even know, know what a Corps was. And into G3. That's G3 is plans and training. As the U.S. geared up for war in Europe, Jake served as a clerk for the officers planning the Army's move into France. I got in on the planning of the invasion. Every person that landed on Omaha Beach on D-Day came through these fingers, these fingers I'm showing you right now, typed their name. When D-Day arrived, Jake was on the command staff ship and had to hit the beach with everyone else. He said his greatest fear was the million landmines that he knew the Germans had buried in the sand. As the war progressed, so did Jake, moving across France, ending up at the Battle of the Bulge. The clerk typist was later awarded a bronze star for his role in the war, but like most, he never talked about it. Who the hell would believe me? So it wasn't until long after that he got his true recognition, all thanks to his granddaughter, Michaela. I would like you to meet a World War II veteran, my Papa Jake. Say hello to TikTok. Hi, TikTok. Papa Jake here. Jake now has more than 800,000 followers to his TikTok account, Storytime with Papa Jake, as his recorded memories of the war have reached a new generation. I'm world famous right now. If you talk about Papa Jake to the world, they know me. Everybody knows me. And that's especially true in France. His son Kurt says he's treated like a rock star when he travels back for D-Day observances. They, they know him over there. And he'll be going down the street in a parade and it's like, Papa Jake, Papa Jake. There were little bands around the wrist. And it just says on that band, we remember. Yes, yes, I remember too. Jake says he remembers everything, including the horror of watching so many people die. When I go to that cemetery, I, I, I feel the presence of the souls of these guys that gave their life. They're with me. And he believes there may be a reason he got through the biggest battles of World War II without a scratch. I used to think it was coincidence. I know it is not coincidence anymore. It, it's too lucky. I'm, I'm too lucky. He believes it's fate that he can now speak up for those who never came home, and he considers himself the luckiest man in the world to be able to do it. Jake's family never knew about his war history until he was invited to attend the 75th commemoration of the D-Day invasion. He has attended every one since.